Hi, and welcome to Prayer Wednesday. Today I'm really excited about the opportunity we have to continue to just come together and to seek God together. In Hosea chapter 12, we read this really interesting section where it's talking about uh, who Jacob or the people of Israel were, you know, the people who wrestled with God, who pursued God, who begged for God's blessing, who connected with God in a meaningful way. And it's kind of this image, I think, of the, the beautiful past that they had, a strong past of pursuing God and seeking him and growing closer to him. And then we re read in verse uh, number six, but you must return to your God, maintain love and justice and wait for your God always. It's a really interesting phrase. But you must return to your God, maintain love and justice, and wait for your God always. I think it's an interesting thing that struck me as I was reading this through, that it's not enough to just have a really great past with Jesus. It's not enough to have a really great relationship with him previously. It's not enough to have had great mountaintop experiences or pursued him powerfully. Really what we need is an ongoing space of pursuing God and knowing him, returning to him every day, seeking after him, maintaining love and justice, pursuing him all the time. Again, I think so often we experience a deep sense of frustration or disillusionment or disappointment because often we're looking for the wrong things. We're looking to, the, to a particular set of circumstances. We're looking for everything to work out the way that we want. We're looking to uh, all the rest of our life to be steady and secure and everything, in it, particularly in the place that we think it should be. And when all of that's together, that's when we think we'll be at peace, when we think we'll experience joy and fullness. But God reminds us so often throughout the scriptures we can never find our satisfaction or our fulfillment apart from him that we must come back to our God, we must pursue him, we must live lives that are pure and holy, lives where we're seeking him passionately, where we're giving all of ourselves over to him and trying to honor him and serve him with everything. And in that context, we have the opportunity to continue to wait for God, to trust him to work out all the intensity and the pressure of life all around us, everything that's raging within our souls, all this that's going on in all the different places. And in those spaces, we find satisfaction, we find fulfillment, we find what we need. And so as we engage in Prayer Wednesday today, what I want you to encourage you to do is again to just return to God. If there's places where you realize you've been trying to find uh, satisfaction in something else, if you're caught in some kind of sin or impurity, to just reject those things and turn back to God. But also if you've been looking to something else to make you feel satisfied or content. If you've been waiting for your circumstances to even out, if you've been waiting for a life to come together in a smoother way, if you're waiting for something else to take place, just to turn to God and say, I'm looking to you for my satisfaction. I'm looking to you to make me whole. And this is maybe particularly important for us this week as we're engaging with this new set of restrictions and all the intensity of what that means. What does it mean to wait patiently for God always? To trust him to be the one that will work everything out, to pursue him and make that our greatest goal and priority, to live in a way that is loving and just, a way that is holy and right. So let's just spend some time with God today just asking him, what does this mean for us? What does it look like for you today to return to your God, to maintain love and justice, and to wait for your God always? Let's just engage with him around these verses as we engage in Prayer Wednesday today.